Welcome friends. This is not gonna be your typical yoga class. This is going to be an opportunity to explore what it is to have office yoga. We're not always able to get into a yoga studio, especially in the midst of very heavy, most oftentimes stress-filled day. So these exercises, we can call them, these movements, of connecting this body with breath and also place of mind can help us create a little bit of a greater gateway to what it means to have built-in stress reduction, some movement and circulation in the body, and you don't even have to leave your chair. So if you, I would gonna invite you all as you watch to, if you can in your office, take off your shoes. Um, you don't have to slide, take your socks off, but take your shoes aside and just letting your toes kind of have some breathing room and freedom and sit in a place in your desk or at your chair. And if you have a standing desk, you can do a lot of this stuff standing as well, but I'm going to guide it through here in a seated position. But sitting in a chair, um, even if you're on your uh, round ball, you know, whatever your chair or your seat might be. But starting with a long base, or rather a seated base, where you can actually feel your feet grounded. And you might want to move a little bit more towards the front of your chair, if it's more comfortable, you can lean back. But making sure that your spine can be tall and long. And ultimately, you want to have a place your elbows can rest down by your body's side, and feeling your shoulders stack directly on top of your hips. And just take a deep breath in here. And you can do this just breathing in and a nice and deep breath out. Okay, just feeling your feet down against the ground. Get another slow, deep breath in, just filling up your belly, the chambers of your lungs, up to the crown of your head. Take a deep exhale, sigh all the way out. Just feeling the body kind of sink itself in a little bit more to gravity or the floor. And just doing another one, another full breath here on your own. Inviting you to explore the sensations of just breath itself. When your spine is nice and long, start to just take some gentle shoulder rolls. So drawing your shoulders up towards your ears and then down your back. And perhaps incorporating the breath. So as you inhale, just shoulders up to your ears and down your back again, drawing your shoulders forward to the earlobes, and then down your back in the opposite direction, going back, so feel wingtips come together, shoulders towards ears, down and forward, again, back, lifting up, down and forward, noticing if you're in a rush here, just feeling what it's like to gather the shoulders, noticing what it's like to lift them, and drawing them forward and letting the shoulders just return to their natural state. Taking a breath here, feel free to even close your eyes. And again, just experiencing your body here breathing. And then bringing your attention to your wrists. So a lot of times think about all the texting and typing, hopefully hand holding and hugs as well, these hands offer, but just do some slow the circles around, letting the synovial membrane start to help get a little bit more lively, create a little bit more circulation for the synovial fluid to flow through the body. And this can help with uh, any carpal tunnel that might be experienced. I'm just going the opposite direction. And then releasing the hands down. And the palms turn up on your lap. And noticing what can be felt here just in the hands. Be a tingle or a pulse. Just waking up the hands. And then from here, we're going to bring your chin down towards the chest. And just notice this, these little bones in the back of the spine, the cervical spine. You want to just gently tilt the chin towards the chest. And then lightly roll your ear towards the side shoulder. And 
then again, shin down towards your chest. And take it to the opposite ear. It doesn't matter what side, just if you're making a horseshoe, chin to the chest, only going as far as it's comfortable it is for you. And exploring the sensations, maybe there's a stretch or perhaps even blockages, strain. Just honoring what's here. And by that I mean working with what's showing up instead of forcing it. And then just gently bring your chin upright. Nice. And then from here, just going to take another breath. Perhaps feeling what it's like to breathe into the back of your ribs, the back of your lungs. And then returning your palms down. And we're going to move to the front of your chair if you've not already done so. And start just because it's going to help us, one, keep the spine tall, but two, also activate the abdominals. So from here, we're going to come to some ankle rolls. So engaging your core. And by that, I mean to kind of feel the navel draw itself up and in. And just gently begin to lift up your right foot. And from here, just you can kind of even feel this sensation that draws from the belly and just start to roll your ankle around, keeping the spine tall. And the bonus is no one has to know that you're doing any of this. So think about the times you're in a meeting, even when you're waiting in traffic or on the train, passenger in a car, car pulling, go in the opposite direction. Again, same thing, our joints are surrounded by the synovial membrane and we have this fluid that helps this, the synovial fluid run through to improve circulation, decrease inflammation. Good, and then releasing the right foot on down. And just noticing the right foot, the right leg. And then peeling the left foot up and off the ground, keeping the knee in line with the hip and just going some circles in one direction. Noticing if the rate of rotation is fast or slow. And going the opposite way, and just what can be felt here, feedback of the body, cracks and pops of the toes even. And then releasing the foot down. And keeping the spine tall, returning the first leg that you did. And just from here, if you like, you can even maybe extend the leg as an option and then perhaps pointing the toes. If that's too much, you can leave the knees bent. But you're just gonna go ahead and just draw, you're gonna lift the toes towards the face. You can see my foot at the bottom of the film. And then just point. So just think here is just some flexion and extension. You'll really start to feel that in the quadricep as well. Again, just two more flexion and extension. And releasing that foot down. And noticing the right side leg. If there's any heat, perhaps not quite noticing at all, just being aware of this felt experience of moving the second side, lifting the opposite leg, and just gently perhaps extending and exploring what it's like to draw the toes towards the shin, and then press the toes further away. Again, toes towards shin. In a way, again, straight leg or bent. But maintaining a posture that's tall and upright Call it a dignified posture, holding yourself in stature as you release the, that foot on down. And you might be more inviting to close the eyes to really feel what it is that you can notice here. Because the body is going to wake us up in different ways. This is a great time to practice, especially when you have that afternoon slump rush. Energy is slow. Circulation of the body starts to invigorate. Especially we can bring our attention to the breath and what's happening in this present moment as we move. And again, from here, we'll go ahead and start to do another part of our body in the face. You might not necessarily be in a place where you can have, a, well, you can make facial expressions. So you can either choose to do this or let your coworkers just take a look at you, but just kind of releasing the tension of the jaw, just slowly dropping the chin down. And then gently beginning to draw the lower jaw towards the upper jaw. And close it. Just a couple of these here, releasing down. And then up. And just a slow release down. Good. And now, maybe a side. 
side to side movement. I'm just feeling your jaw just go heavy, perhaps releasing any tension inside the cheeks. And just take a full breath here. Allowing for a breath out, relaxing the facial muscles. And now we're going to come to our spine. Just release your hands down at this point and go ahead and extend your arms forward and just draw your shoulders back. I'm going to invite you to even interlace your fingers and just start to press your palms forward and just get drown, drown your chin in towards your chest as you spread the shoulder blades apart. Good. And then inhale, maybe reaching the arms up towards the sky. Just a full stretch. You know, you do this oftentimes, just a big sign in the office. Now just exhale, round and dome the back. Scoop the navel to the spine. Good, just one more time. Full lift upwards. And use your exhale to draw your navel up into your back. And then inhale, just reaching arms up. And release the hands down. If you're not in a place to extend the arms, you can just, again, do this here. Shoulders front and shoulders back. And just simply noticing. Finding your breath. We're going to move into some spine movement towards the side. So from here, just reaching your arms on up. And if that's not accessible to you, you can just go ahead and just leave your body where it is. But thinking you're rotating your rib cage towards the side, thinking to press your hand on the outer leg or even on the back of the chair. So just inhale, take a little lift. And an end, gentle exhale as you rotate the ribs towards the chair. Another inhale. And just exhale. Can your inhale bring your chin back towards the center? And just unspiral your way on out and feeling that side of your body. Inhale, reaching your arms on up if that's accessible. Otherwise, just gently take the rotation, the hand perhaps outside the knee, pressing down your other arm back behind, lifting up the chest. And a gentle rotation back. Notice if you're forcing it. Just feel the feet grounded, the spine lifting with the breath. And on the exhale, carry you just as far back as the body will allow. And bring your chin back towards the center. And then unravel yourself on out. And take another breath. Noticing the stillness in the body from the imprint of movement. Is how the entire body feels from head to toe. And you can make this simple sequence your own. Gentle front and back, because every day is going to be different. But notice if there's a rush, if there's a pace to just, oh, I'm going to do my desk yoga. I'm just going to go and get through and get this done. And we're already in that mad, crazy rush. So just really taking your time. Your body's calling for it. The only way that it can give you the feedback is by giving us the aches and the pains, the tension and the tightness. So using this opportunity to slow some things down, just as simple as breathing, sitting up tall, moving the wrist, dropping the head side to side, and just seeing where that takes you. Have a great day.